Hey guys, so every now and then I'll do this bonus section videos. And what happens, you see us go through the storages, but we cannot go through every box all the way down to the last second. So as we find stuff, I put in a bonus section. You'll see 150 to 200 wax pack wrappers. 95% accepted baseball ones, they were all found in one uh, little lunchbox just piled together. So we never saw that on the videos. And then I'm doing more close up of comics, different toys like this. So if you like these type of bonus videos, make a comment in the comment section below. Hey Renee, more bonus videos? And also make sure to share it with your friends because the more popular videos are, those are the videos I concentrate on. Now let's take a look at some bonus items. Okay guys, so this is more bonus footage. I'm probably gonna make an intro, but just in case. This is stuff that we quick see in the hoarder house boxes, but now as we go through it a little bit more, that's better. These are like five by three, six by fours from different movie stars. They're autographed, but not original, obviously. These are probably some sort of giveaway or press thing, but still cool. I mean, there's like over a hundred in there. They should be worth five to 10 bucks a piece. Some maybe more, They're pretty cool. So those probably will go in the store. We'll just we'll cover them up nice then this right here was a really nice score this so they weren't boarded like this we did that they were just sitting in a, in a box they were all crumbled up these are 1969 tops wax packs so in a condition like this you see no wrapping and then you really want to pay attention there's different advertising so people will buy the different advertising but like like this one right here it has rip and it'd probably be like 15 bucks 15 bucks you know, it has rips, 15 bucks, maybe 20. But this one right here, no rips. It's probably 40 bucks. I got 33 of them, so. You know, even at a $20 average, that's 660 bucks. But I think they're going to average closer to um, 30 bucks a piece. Then this we saw wrapped up. I'm actually going to list that one on eBay. It looks like it's almost never been played with. It's marks. It's probably from the 50s. Maybe, I don't know, it could be 70s, 80s because it says Japan, but who knows. And then this Super uh, Heroes Marvel kit, I'm not sure if I showed this on video or not, but so people are asking in good condition, 125 bucks for it. I've seen some sold loose for 50 bucks, 60 bucks. This one is sealed. I don't see a single sealed one, so I don't know. I'm gonna put that one online too. See what happens. These, this one is actually still sealed in the back. You can see. I mean, I'm assuming this was totally white at one time. I think I already have some of these. I don't know if this is the same one. This one is copyrighted 1944. It's pretty cool. Then here's a Foo magazine. That price should go on eBay pretty fast. Should bring you at least a hundred bucks, but I think people are asking a couple hundred. And here's a San Diego Comic Con 1980 guide. All right, guys, I'm gonna include this box. There's a whole bunch of these right here. I'm gonna include, include this box because I thought this was actually a really interesting box. So a little more bonus stuff. Hey, how are you? How are you? Very good, thank you. Deadly Terrors of Kung Fu. Savage Tales of Kazar number one. Carrie Fisher, Star Wars. More just James Bond, there's a whole bunch, so I have to check that one. Hopefully that's good. We have quite a few. Spirit. How you doing today? Pretty good. It's been a long day, so we're gonna go have margaritas. Oh, that's good. <laughs> How are you? Another day, you know, getting work done. <laughs> Famous monster Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Cool stuff in there. The spirit issues are cool. Let's see. These Kung Fu magazines somebody said last time they were really good. Oh. 
high school yearbook priority. Vampire Tales. April 1974. Dracula Lips. You know, let me put a couple. I'll pull a couple of these out just to leave them a little looser. San Diego Comic Con 1985. Kung Fu Deadly Hands. Deadly Hands Kung Fu. So here I got a whole, I think I got a lot of these pizzas. It was a Marvel Magazine 1978. Great TV show battle for the last event. So actually I need to take this box home and price it at home. Check this out, Hulk. Sean Cassidy, Spider-Man. He's all 1978. Star Wars, Star Trek, and Alien. Planets of the Ape, number one. Of the Apes. <clears throat> How the Duck. This magazine is local. Well, if you guys see something really expensive, let me know. So guys, here's some more bonus footage. This Roy Ro Rogers lunchbox and Dale Evans, double bar ranch. Actually, I don't know how old it is. USA, Roy Rogers, uh, right from the 60s, but it was full of wax packs wrappers. So these are the ones I haven't wrapped yet. Those are the cheaper ones to Angel, uh, Charlie's Angels. I think these are only probably worth like 10 bucks a piece. Barnabas, I haven't looked this up yet. Charlie's Angels, Mod Squad. There's probably over 100 wrappers here. But wait, in just a few seconds, I'm going to show you guys what I did already bag and board. Uh, you guys know we did find the Gilligans, about 40 of them. But I don't think they were in this box, they were in a different box. There's more Charlie's Angels, and there's like a lot of these. There's like a dozen in a pack. Um, <clears throat> then this piece right here. So I'll, I'll show you guys in a second which ones we wrapped. I think I showed this one in a video a long time ago. I'm not 100% sure. So there you go. This is Superman's secret code. It's for the Superman Club. The address, 1955 National Comics Publication. Here's the thing, the certifier that Terry John Wegman out of San Diego, California has a duly elected member signed by Clark Kent himself, 1955. Here's the original envelope. Let's see, it doesn't say the date on here anymore. Like that's kind of been erased out. But it's Superman of America's headquarters in New York. And it also comes with the official Superman National Comics pin. You can see it's like an instant pin there. The complete logo. So this is 1955's for kids. Superman Collectors Club. Like, I couldn't find any of these online. I think the thing will bring at least a thousand bucks. I will actually list this on eBay within the next week. Next week to two weeks. I'm going to put it right here on projects to do. So here's a little bit of bonus stuff, but let's go find some more. Okay, so there's 150 in here so far that we bagged and board, boarded. These right here, you guys seen, we just sold one for 40 bucks. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch. So what we do when we sell these, we actually take the picture of the actual one, this will be the backup box, and it sits on an eBay shelf, so people get exactly what they pictured. Dennis gets smart here. I've never, I've never had these before, but they're from the 60s, five cents pack. So it actually should say the date on there, but I don't want to wait too long. So, oh, 1966. So I haven't looked these up yet. I don't know what these are worth. The monkeys. A whole bunch of these. Pull one up a little bit nicer. Then I like these, the green beret. Green hornet. This one is 62, I think. 1966. So a lot of these are 1966. A lot 
lots of green hornets. Just give them a couple of time. Comic book foldies, five cents. I think I sold a box of these for like a thousand bucks. But I gotta see, I sold so many boxes, so don't quote me. But I've never listed these before either. There's not a monkey. I looked these up. These were going for about 10 to 20 bucks a piece. A whole bunch of these right here. Oh, here's some more. These are different monkeys, yellow ones. And more laughing. The story of Robert Kennedy. Philadelphia Chew Company, a chewing gum company. Probably also 60s. A whole bunch of those. So as you can see, it's 150 bucks here, even at 20 bucks a piece, that's a $3,000 box. And they were all in that little lunchbox. More laughing. Planet of the Apes. Daktari. Superhero stickers, so we have all those stickers. Those are pretty, those, those should be pretty good. Oh, here's some more Barnabas. Flying Nun. More monkeys, 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 monkeys. I think the rest of these are monkeys. Yeah, these are the yellow monkeys. Okay, let's go look for some more stuff. All bonus section. So I don't know if I ever showed these in a video. So we had the other one that we found. So here's another one. And then here's the picture puzzle. So it's a little bit dark in this room. These are extra folders. Um. Starling Stories. This is newer stuff. I think I showed this. So this box right here, check this out. Oh, the light sucks here. Hold on. I don't think I ever showed these cards. And the condition on these, this one's a little bit off center, but you can see the condition on these is incredible, except the Joe Namath rookie was all the way in the bottom. Old boxes like this. Like beautiful cards, beautiful colors. More Star Wars wrappers. There's probably like a hundred in here. Let's see all different, these are all fifth series, but all nice condition. Then uh, C3PO. Then these are the rare French wrappers. So, um, some of these, I actually still got some packs and you just had to get graded too. So I just found this whole stack. That's another. Here's a video that we will shoot sometimes next week. So, huge baseball collection we got. And it's all stars. Don Drysdale. Earl Wynn. You know, Lockett, I see. Nolan Ryan. Lit pass, I don't know what that is. So we'll go through all the balls, we'll shoot a whole video. There's some other cards here too. You know, Reggie Jackson, Duke Snyder, Tim Flannery, Joe Carter. There's another Noel Ryan over there. Johnny Bench. So that's coming. So here's some more stuff. I know you guys always like looking at um, comic books. And here's actually a football box. And I don't know what year this is. Let me see if it says anywhere. I don't know. I have to look it up. It's probably something 70s, maybe say. Actually, the way the graphics are, maybe 60s. Or oh, 1969, Tops Football. There we go. I got a whole box full of uh, 68 Tops. 67, Philadelphia 64. And this is baseball. 
whole box right here is 69 baseball. So, you know, I want to show you guys some more comics. Some of the stuff I might have showed before. Um, yeah, I just don't know all the stuff I have. Here's a bunch of Avengers stuff. I actually need to bag and board. Submariner, he's all 40s. 52, 60s. But what the cool thing is, this whole thing down there, comic book art. It's all original comic book art. Um, don't want to bend it, but yeah. So we'll have a video coming on that. The comic, a creeper. So I just started talking to somebody about this. This is Iron Man number six. So it's still really early there. But it's the German version, the Eisner Marvel Comics. Some frontline combat stuff. And I have so much of this stuff. I don't even know what to do. It's like, like, you know, people ask me that in the chat, do you ever get overwhelmed? I'm like, yeah, this collection, I'm overwhelmed. But at the same time, I don't, I don't want to just give it away, you know? Bad stuff. I, saw, I think I saw some of the stuff I showed. This box seems very familiar. This stuff, I, I've already been sitting here for almost a year. So, and then... um. Here's some comic book uh, and coloring notes. Yeah, here's Stan. That is a cool. Dangerous gangsters. The young allies, I need to send this in to get graded. I think here's stuff that needs to get graded. Silver Surfer number one. Lois Lane Showcase. That's the first Lois Lane. This All-American book is obviously great. Flash. Batman Scarecrow cover. Blackhawk. Another one. Strange Tales. Iron Man number one. Aquaman. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, his first Green Lantern without the cover. First Justice League without the cover. Two of them. So some of the stuff you guys seen before, thrilling comics. I feel like I showed this before. Um, here, this whole box is all Batman and Robin detective comics. They're mostly 15 centers and 12 centers. Let's see what's in the box. I haven't lifted this box in probably a year. I don't even know what's in here. So obviously Golden Age back here because we haven't sealed them yet. That's the wrong way. That's awesome. It's going to make good filming. Oh, Captain America. Tales of Suspense. Close in this. Hey, I'll pull one more. Iron Man. Step Mariner, these are all 25 centers, 12 centers, 15 cents Iron Man. Okay, this box is the wrong way, so that was the wrong box to open. Let's see what's next to it. Well, this one should be all Golden Age. This could be Dell stuff. So I packed it in. No, it's Action Comics. 10 cents Action Comics. So this whole box is. Let's see what we got here. All 12 cents action comics. And I've never went through these to check if the key issues are there. I mean, if I notice a key issue, I obviously pull it. But I haven't checked if there's key issues in here or... You know, as I'm bagging and boarding them, I, I mean, I knew certain ones to look for, but... A lot of stuff I don't. I'm going to leave this up here. I don't want to force it in. That's cool. It should be Golden Age 2. I haven't sealed. Flash, 12 centers, flash. Flash, 10 centers. Batman and Teen Titans. Mystery in Space. Mystery in Space. Flash. 
Let's see what these Silver Age packages are. Nick Fury Shield. So, again, lots of cool stuff. So this is just a quick bonus video so you guys get to see some more cool stuff. Okay, most of these we did yesterday. A lot of these will just go to grading. Obviously, as you see the issues. I still haven't found Spider-Man number one. We did find Amazing Fantasy 15, but it would be nice if we can find Spider-Man 1. Uh, 2 and 14 were resend and they get graded. And graded and pressed. All these probably will get pressed. Some of these you guys might have seen in the previous video, so. And I think I showed the first 20, so I'll just go through these a little bit faster. Otherwise, this video will be forever. And had some people commenting to stop talking and just show, so. You know, I feel weird just being silent. That's a really cool cover, I think. The annual, so I also had the first annual. This is number two, the first one has already went to grading. Push these over a little bit. After this pile, we're gonna look to see what's in the bag that we saw earlier. I've never went through that bag, so we will see. You see the stack of detective, I haven't checked this yet. Kind of check them as we bag. Mysterio. I really like this cover too. I don't know why, I just really enjoyed. Like, I'm not a huge comic book guy, to be honest, but as I'm going through these comic books, I'm really enjoying, um, like, the art. You know, all of a sudden there's a cover that I really, really like, so. I'm actually talking, I'm probably going to keep a lot of these, to be honest. A lot of the graded high and stuff, I might just keep for the future. So I think comics just keep on going up right now, and kind of like them. And unfortunately, I don't have to sell them, so. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up spending like 20 grand with CG and Z. CGC. Yeah. Sorry, it's not easy being German. Green Goblin. The horns of Rhino. Actually, you know what? In the comment section, why don't you guys leave and let me know what your favorite cover character is. Kind of be interesting to know who people gravitate. I'm, I'm assuming Spider-Man is super famous just because the value of his books. Um, you know, a lot of the Spider-Man art is really nice. But why don't you guys leave me comments what are your favorite characters are. It's not this guy, it's a crime master. Okay. That's the last one. And uh, now let's get the bag, let's see what's in the bag. Okay, most of these we did yesterday. A lot of these will just go to grading. Obviously, as you see the issues. I still haven't found Spider-Man number one. We did find Amazing Fantasy 15, but it would be nice if we can find Spider-Man 1. Uh, 2 and 14 were resend and they get graded. And graded and pressed. All these probably will get pressed. Some of these you guys might have seen in the previous video, so. And I think I showed the first 20, so I'll just go through these a little bit faster. Otherwise, this video will be forever. And I had some people commenting to stop talking and just show, so. You know, I feel weird just being silent. That's a really cool cover, I think. Hero. 
annual. So I also had the first annual. This is number two. The first one has already went to grading. Push these over a little bit. After this pile, we're gonna look to see what's in the bag that we saw earlier. I've never went through that bag, so we will see. You see the stack of detective? I haven't checked this yet. Kind of check them as we bag. Mysterio. I really like this cover too. I don't know why, I just really enjoyed it. Like, I'm not a huge comic book guy, to be honest, but as I'm going through these comic books, I'm really enjoying, um, like, the art. You know, all of a sudden there's a cover that I really, really like, so. I'm actually talking, I'm probably going to keep a lot of these, to be honest. A lot of the graded high and stuff, I might just keep for the future. So I think comics just keep on going up right now, and kind of like them. And unfortunately, I don't have to sell them, so. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up spending like 20 grand with CG and Z. CGC. Yeah. Sorry, it's not easy being drumming. Green Goblin. Horns of Rhino. Actually, you know what? In the comment section, why don't you guys leave and let me know what your favorite character is. Kind of be interesting to know who people gravitate. I'm, I'm assuming Spider-Man is super famous just because the value of his books. Um, you know, a lot of the Spider-Man art is really nice. But why don't you guys leave me comments what are your favorite characters are. It's not this guy, it's a crime master. Okay. That's the last one. And uh, now let's get the bag, let's see what's in the bag.